Hi everybody, welcome to another tutorial on Beep Street Trombo, the modular glove box. In this uh, uh, tutorial I'd like to show you how you can use the slew limiter. First of all I'm going to start with a little bit of theory and then I'm going to show you some of the use cases. So let's start with removing the MIDI to CV module. Let's click add and let's bring a LFO. Then let's add uh, a from the miscellaneous utility scroll to the bottom let's add an oscilloscope and connect that to the lfo let's change the x scale to maximum so we can see the sine wave coming out from the lfo next let's add on the utility let's scroll to the top and let's add the slew limiter let's connect that to the lfo and then let's add again another oscilloscope which we will connect to this new limiter okay let's increase the x scale so that will show you sh will show us as well um, the um, this new limiter in action so how does it work this new limiter uh, has a number of dials as you can see here one on the rise which is used to delay a millisecond the rise of the signal and a corresponding one when the signal falls to slow down the fall as well which is in millisecond you can have a an exponential um, a reduction or delay or a linear one as well so let's uh, apply a linear one and um, let's increase the rise and see what happens on the oscilloscope here which you can compare to this oscilloscope so this one is showing the LFO Without this new limiter, this one is, show you, is showing the LFO with this new limiter applied. As I increase the rise, you can see that the, uh, the ramping up is slowing down, so when the signal is going up, and as you continue to do so, it will, it will slow down so much that it will not be able to go positive. Okay. Now let's do the same on the fall. And as you can see, the fall is slowly getting slower to fall, and the fall it will get to a point where it will not go below the negative axis. Okay, like so. Okay, now that we know the theory of how this works, what we can do is to try to see how we can apply it. There are a number of cases that you can use it for. Of course, you can apply directly to a um, an instrument for example like so uh, let's bring in a, a an FM operator and also let's bring in the under utility the slew limiter and ensure that that is connected perfect let's increase the feedback setting as a frequency modulation which we're not using for now a bit of attack the sustain and a bit more delay and then uh, let's uh, go to keys and ensure uh, that the limiter is down to zero okay and uh, add a MIDI to CV which I forgot which I removed like so okay perfect so you could increase the rise or you could do the same on the fall and you can have a linear as well and again you can also apply an LFO on the modulator LFO and trying to modulate the fall and the rise at the same time. Let's start with the fall, um, being that modulated by the LFO one, and let's increase the intensity. Okay, let's decrease the frequency. Also, let's uh, make that LFO only positive, and let's remove the bipolar. can perhaps also decrease a little bit the amount and of course you can do the same on the rise ok 
okay you can apply like this so another um another uh, example would be let's create a new project which is simple another example would be to convert for example um, gate signal into envelopes or or other signal which then you can use to play so let's use an extreme so let's bring in under utility a uh, a gate velocity sequencer so let's create a bit of a pattern like uh, so an alternating pattern as you can hear there's no sound let's increase the bit the steps per bit sorry and uh, there's no sound again let's now add a let's do limiter here we go let's connect it to um, the signals um, coming out from the gate and um, you can hear no sound and if we increase it again there's no sound let's leave it to 16 and then now let's uh, act on the rise and also on the fall a bit okay let's put the audio out which connects to uh, actually we don't need an audio out let's click play Again, we can stop that we can remove this little limiter click play and again we don't hear any sound so let's uh, bring in again this little limiter let's connect it to the um, gate signal So as you can see, starting to produce a sound and you can also use or add a filter as well on top to create an interesting effect. Even more, you can add uh, now a modulator as well. A modulator the cutoff bit more intensity of course you can play around with steps as well per bit you can modulate the resonance as well can create the interesting effect another use uh, case would be the one uh, let's create a new project where we use it to create some form of portamento so directly uh, taking the CV the control voltage coming out from the conversion media to CV let's add this little limit to that so utility is a little limit to that uh, like so then let's add uh, a uh, an oscillator and also immediately an ADSL. Okay, like so. Let's add more decay, remove the sustain, a bit more release. Let's go to keys. Okay, let's create a bit of a pattern. So for example, uh, let's select a C1 there and insert the note there, let's do two like that, a G2 and a C3 like so, let's click play perfect, now let's decrease the rise and fall let's ensure that uh, this is picking up the uh, the sound directly from the MIDI to CV like so and let's also ensure that uh, yeah, that will be fine actually so now let's click play and I'm going to show you what happens when I increase the rise.
got to ensure that the oscillator is taking the output from this limiter. And I've done so, and let's try again. You can hear a too dramatic change on the pitch, so let's select the linear. And this gives you the sense of a portamento, which you can also apply on the fall of the signal. As you can see, you can use this Lua limiter to create interesting effects, whether you want to create a portamento effect, whether you want to decrease or delay the input signal on the rise or on the fall, or whether you want to convert the gate signal into envelopes or um, interesting waveforms that you can play for additional effects. I hope you enjoyed and found this useful. See you next time. Bye.